Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Ojama Yertz here, and I got a video for you today. And in this video today, I'm going to talk about how to get some mother friggin' wealth, some heckin' wealth, how to build your wealth up. Genius advice from a genius. See my head? I'm balding. That means I'm smart because I have less hair. All right. That being said, let's hop right into it. How to grow wealth. So, I was thinking about this for a while today, and I wanted to make a video on how to make money without getting a job, because I feel like a big issue in America is um, our the average man's reliance, the average person's reliance on a nine nine to five. So, like the corporate um, corporate America has a friggin' stranglehold on people's access to USD, US dollars. So I, I, I tasked myself today because I have another channel where I am teaching people how to make money in a video game and it's doing like 900 views a day. And I really like it. I don't care. Whatever. That's aside. But I understand that if I, I'm not going to get any views on YouTube until I, try, until I start trying to teach people how to make money. So today I tasked myself, but also... I want to make money. I want to. I want to figure out how to make money because I want to help people make money. Because I fucking hate nine to fives, bro. Nine to fives suck. You know why my nine to fives suck? Because our bosses fucking suck, bro. Like if jobs, if you could use your cell. I, I know I always talk about cell phones, but if you could use your fucking cell phone at a job, it wouldn't suck. If, if companies like would understand that most of the things they tell their employees to do don't actually pr produce any value for the company. It's one thing to be told to do something that's hard, but you can actually feel good about it, about how it's building value for the company that you're working for. You're actually like contributing to society. But it's a whole nother thing when you're told to go try to find something to do and you're at risk of losing your fucking job. If somebody if like you're not caught, if they catch you not sweeping the same spot, you've swept for 50 hours. I hate the society. I mean, I love society. I love the modern the modern life that we live today and the uh, amenities that it's that it provides for us. But I'm just saying, I fucking hate what it's turning into. Nobody actually knows why we're doing what we're doing. But anyway, so here's the start of my mission to try to learn myself how to create U.S. dollars without necessarily starting a business. Okay, so let's just hop into it. That's why I wanted to learn how to make money. Or at least, like try to teach you guys how to make money without getting a job. So I wanted it to be in a way that anyone with no skills, anybody. So like the, the situation I imagined to myself is that like you wake up naked in the woods. How do you make money by the end of the day? That was, that was the thought process I had for myself. The thought experiment I had. That's what started this thought. Okay. So I wanted it to be in a way with anyone with no skills could potentially make some money without having any skills, any money or any resources. You can just wake up tomorrow and immediately start building wealth. That was the idea with this thought experiment. I wanted to be anyone that is a high schooler to a homeless person. Anybody, 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 anywhere. Okay, anywhere on the earth. How, what is value? What is wealth? How do we get it? We need to, essentially, we need to rip USD out of the equation. USD seems to be the stranglehold holding us back from wealth. Okay, but I mean, how to make US dollars is going to help us build wealth anyway. But anyway, whatever. So... I talked about it um, with my girlfriend and we talked about it for a while because she's usually really good for me to um, try to, I'm very like imaginative and she's very grounded. So like when we come together to talk about a subject, we usually like intersect and where we intersect, the answer lies. But she was like, you know, we talked about shoveling driveways, going door to door, asking for work, picking fruit in season because it is in season right now, with the mulberries and the raspberries and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my God, I can go to the uh, the uh, trail near my house and then fill up a jar of uh, mulberries and I could probably go sell that for maybe a couple dollars on the, the side of the road. You know what I mean? Like just go to a high traffic area like outside of Walmart or something like that and then just like really you know, make a couple dollars and rinse, repeat. You know what I mean? Like you'd be able to go just like rinse, repeat. How many, how many, how many berries can you find? How many jars can you find? How many containers? How much fresh produce can you get to people? That's kind of where I was going, but I'd be like, whatever. Okay. These are, I, I thought, you know, these are really good ideas, but it's kind of getting away from when I was, uh, um, kind of going for it because like it, it, it starts to become like a skill issue. Let me move myself up so you can see that. Um, it starts to become like a skill issue. And I wanted you to um, um, think of methods that would make anyone more wealthy immediately, okay? So I know I press myself, I go and I take a shower and I'm, I'm meditating in the shower, you know, praying about it, whatever. 
just praying and meditating and just thinking and just waiting for the answer to come to me and just really like harping myself, just really going through different scenarios and stuff in my head. And then I, 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 I came up with a solution, you know, like even begging crossed our minds. You know what I mean? Like beggars beg, but if you're like, you go to a street corner and you beg and there's ways to beg. I'm sure there's probably like a begging meta and I'm sure homeless people have a good meta on that, but I'm pretty sure if I was to go beg, I could figure out the best way to beg. Oh my God. That might be a whole video itself. I got to write that down. Cause dude, if I could teach poor people how to beg more efficiently, that'd be amazing. Cause then they can get more money. Anyway, 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 the idea I came up, this is tied to that. You could beg for money. But one thing I thought of, I was just like, it hit me and it's going to blow your minds. So you guys are probably gonna think I'm kind of stupid actually, but just hear me out. Ready? Here's my secret idea. Go to the street corner with a cardboard sign that says, we'll, we, we'll work for free every day for a week. I bet you a million dollars. I bet you any amount of money that you'll have more money at the end of the week than when you started. Okay. Obviously there's risk. Okay. That's why I wanted to, for the people out there that might see it this far, I think it's going to be like less than 1% of the people that look this far into this video, but for the 1% one that might see this, there's obviously going to be risk. There's going to be like exceptions that are like, there's obviously risk to doing something like this. Like if you're in like Detroit and you go to the corner and say, we'll work for free. There's a good, <laughs> there's a good chance that somebody who is not very nice might pick you up and try to get you to do some sort of labor. That's not very good. Um, use your imagination, I guess, but there's obviously nuance to this statement, but the basic premise I think is really, really on to something because let's think about this. So imagine, go with me on this, go with me on this walk. So we go to a, a street corner, say like outside of Walmart, outside of Lowe's, outside of whatever business that is hopping outside of mall or not even on a mall. I think like a Walmart or something like that, or I say like Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff because that's how I feel like a lot of workers go, uh, they got jobs. But anyway, and you put up a sign that says, I will work for free. No no, like you're not asking for money. You're not asking for anything. You are just offering yourself to the, to the, to the masses. Right. And then, you know, if somebody sees that, that's going to be weird. So that's going to be like, what the frig, what the heck, what the hell, what the fuck? They're going to see that and just like, what the hell is this guy on crack? And they're going to stop. You know what I mean? Like a thumbnail on YouTube. They're going to stop and they're going to drive up to you and be like, Hey bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Be like, well, I mean, I'm just, and then you have an opportunity to go, hey, I, I just want to work for free. You know, I just need some work. I want to work. Let me work. You know what I mean? And as long as you're not like coming at them in a in a way where you're asking them for anything, it's all you giving. It's like, it's like the same way as like walking up to somebody and be like, hey man, you want 20 grand? Like when Mr. Beast does it, you know what I mean? They're, always, they're never like, no, bro, get away from me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you have that same essence, that same mentality when you go up to somebody, I think you're in. I think you're in the door. And getting in the door, even if you don't get paid, the reason why I framed it this way is because if you work for somebody, like I told, I was talking to my friend today while we were lifting weights. I was like, bro, if somebody came to your house every day, just knocked on your door and said, hey, can I wash your dishes? Can I, can I, can I wash your dishes? Can I do your laundry? Can I put your kids to bed? Can I, um, uh, clean up your house, sweep and dust everything? Da, da, da. Can I, can I cook your lunch, breakfast, and dinner? Can I just spend the whole day and do everything for you instead of you doing it? And then you're like, yeah. And then say they did that every day for six months. How would you feel? Would you not want to go? I'm, I'm preloading you again a little bit, intuition pumping a little bit, but would you not go? Wow. I, at some point you got to go, man, I, I feel like I really owe this guy something. You know what I mean? And that's, that's the ticket. That's what I'm trying to tap into. Cause if, so there's a lot of different mechanisms going on here when we're, we're doing something like this, you're going you're getting work for free. So you're getting something to do at the very least. You know what I mean? You're getting a job experience. Say they got you going to roof shingles. They do shingles on a roof or something like that. You know, tear down something simple, either just, or just picking up the, the shingles off the ground they throw and you can just chuck them in the dumpster. You know what I mean? You're just doing, you're providing that tiny little value, taking away, you know, saving them a little bit of time. And even if they don't pay you nothing, you're in their head. And you know, on some level, there's like this spiritual level. There's like this, like, uh, social conscience that, you know, call it karma, call it whatever you want, call it human psychology, whatever you want to call it. It exists on some level that if you do this enough times, you will get a relationships with people, job experience, making yourself more valuable. So that's worth something, right? Like we pay tens, thousands of dollars to go to college to learn these things. And then there's a good chance somebody will feel like they owe you something. Okay. 
Sounds like money to me. What's That's the most thing. When somebody thinks of something, they I owe somebody something. What do you think you owe them? You don't think, oh, man, I should give this guy like a bag of peanuts. You know what I mean? No, they're like going, oh, man, I owe this guy something. And then the first thing they're going to think of, the first thing is more off, like more than likely, at least for me, maybe not for you, maybe the one person who's watching this video, there's only going to be like two people watching this in the first place, but it may not be that way for you. And fair enough. But most people, I reckon, and this might be a fun little experiment for somebody to try, or maybe I'll try it, or who knows. They might give you some cash, okay? And that's what I'm saying. So that's it. That's the whole episode. Thanks for sticking it out. Sticking it out. I am your number one yapper on YouTube. I can yap and talk, and I can never stop. If somebody's got to come get me. I think i got to make that like a skit in the end of my videos. I'll like have my girlfriend come up and like put a bag over my head and pull me off to like get me to shut the fuck up. But anyway, if you made it this far, you should subscribe. Catch you later. That was really fun. See you later. That was really fun. Um, peace out. I'm going to hopefully, I'm going to just dedicate the, the majority of my now YouTube, new, new YouTube career, just trying to learn how to make money and then try to teach you how to make money. That's, I think that's what I'm going to do. See you later.